Carlos, this is for you and thank you so much for sending me this integral. However, the way I did it was by using Wolfgang Alpha. <laughs> but anyway, in fact, in this video, I would actually like to introduce Andre to you guys. He is one of my subscribers and he is really passionate about math and also teaching. That's why I invited him to be on my channel and he is going to show us how to do hyperbolic trick substitution to conquer this integral. And if you guys like this video, please show some support. Go check out his channel. I will have the link to his channel in the description. So now let's welcome Andre. Hey, my name is Andre and I own the YouTube channel Essentials of Math. Today I'm going to be doing a video and I would like to thank Black Pen Red Pen for hosting this video. Thank you and if you like it, please subscribe to me. Thanks! Today we're going to be looking at an integral that Black Pen Red Pen has shared with me. And it is the integral of the square root of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And so first I want to show you a little formula. The hyperbolic sine inverse of x is equal to the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. So obviously you know the contents of this integral and this are the same so we'd like to manipulate it in some way and we can do that by noticing that if we have a square root that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 half on the outside of the natural log and to get rid of the natural log, we can just raise both sides to the e power. And so we can rewrite this integral as e to the one half inverse hyperbolic sine of x dx. So now it's only natural to use the u substitution which is u is equal to the inverse hyperbolic sine of x. And our du is going to be equal to dx divided by the square root of 1 plus x squared. And so we have that dx is equal to du times the square root of 1 plus, and then notice that x is equal to the inverse hyperbolic sine of u. And by the Pythagorean identity here, this is equal to the hyperbolic cosine of u du. And that makes things really nice. So we have this integral, e to the 1 half u times the hyperbolic cosine of u du. And now integration by parts might be tempting, but instead we can just expand the hyperbolic cosine of u because this is e to the u plus e to the minus u all over 2. That is the definition of the hyperbolic cosine. And that is equal to, so I'm going to bring the 1 half outside of the integral. We have 1 half times the integral, so we'll get e to the 3 halves u plus e to the negative 1 half u. And now this is just integrating the exponential function, which is really easy to do. We have 1 half times, this will be 2 thirds e to the 3 halves u minus 2 times e to the negative 1 half u. Uh, so we have some nice two cancellations here. And so this is equal to 1 third e to the 3 halves u minus e to the minus one half u. Now we can just bring back our u here, but we can notice that e to the u equals x plus the square root of x squared plus one. And so we have this expression is equal to or one third times x plus the square root of x squared plus one quantity raised to the third three halves power minus x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 raised to the negative 1 half power. And then, don't forget the plus c. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 